Among Us. Among Us. Surprise. Forgot. Oh, we're gamer tech now. <laughs> Let's go, gamers. That was quieter than I expected. Hey, I'm Josh from the Bren System, and I am. Um, I am outside your house. Let me in. If you're cold, then I'm cold. Anyway, I have wanted to make videos for a long time, but then, okay, those who don't know, I have, I have a psychotic disorder, right? So I get paranoid about the most stupid things, and I had this weird idea in my head for a really long time that if I tried to make videos again, then I needed to explain myself, like, where I was. I needed to explain to people all the new things that happened in my life, and then I realized, like, actually, I don't, you people don't know me. I don't know you. Hi, I'm Josh from the Bren System. I've I've been medicated um, for a while, so now I'm rational again. Um, shout out to Lexapro, by the way, best <coughs> mood stabilizing SSRI on the market. I don't have to go into detail about where I've been. I mean, sure, there have been some big things that happened. I mean. My old collaborator, a nice gator, aka Princess of Violence, um, ironically enough, when I moved in with them, became very violent. I know, big shocker. Um, I had a domestic violence experience, not for the first time in my life, but probably the worst one I've ever had. And then I was briefly homeless. I've had this place for like, yo, we've been living here for like a year and maybe a year and a few months and we're finally settling in and life is normal and I'm just thinking like I want to make videos again sorry I had to stop whacking the mic with my big f***ing himbo hands I'm a great f***ing bumbling lummox take a swig gamers so it is currently the weekend before All Hallows Eve Here's the story, okay, I, I was sitting on my bed, um, eating a big bag of honey peanuts from the fucking servo, cause I'm a hungry little guy, and like, I ate the big bag of peanuts and I got a bit of a sugar rush, and I was like, I, I wanna make a YouTube video, what do I wanna do? I was like, I wanna do gaming, but like, Nothing in my Steam library is quite hitting, and I feel like to get the exact, I feel like to, to, to quench the thirst that is currently in me, I need to thoroughly ruin our Steam library. Although first of all, first of all, mm, yeah, 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 yes. Let's go to the horror tag. Let's do it. Three. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What the f is this? <laughs> Jack is missing. Oh, yeah, this looks sh <laughs> It's 39p. All right. This looks sufficiently, uh, this looks sufficiently f Can I play, please? Okay, it seems like I, I may play. Spooky! A laptop. Excuse me? Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't like that. That's gonna make me queasy. Does my computer only have four buttons? My phone, rather, has only four buttons. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, I'm already seeing problems here. Um, the camera is gonna make me throw up. Like, do you know me? Why is this running so badly? <laughs> I can see my shoes. Oh yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I got full, full cock and balls visibility. That is absolutely vital. Why is my computer struggling with this? I'm genuinely baffled. Not friends. <laughs> <laughs> friendship with this guy ended oh I can drag it around yeah okay password Kevin is God I feel like I should know the password to my own computer am I nitpicking what is happening oh my god it's got notebook physics Oh yeah, this is gameplay. That's the first red flag. If someone's password on their computer is like, first name is God, it's like, mate, what are you doing with your life? Oh yes. What is this, like Los Angeles? I don't know, I don't claim to understand anything about the United States. Can I type it in? Can I please type it in? Okay, I'm not crazy, am I? Like, I can't type in the password. Like, what's going on? Okay, so I could type it in. It just wasn't gonna show me. I I'm not mad, I'm not. What the fuck is this? Bro, oh man, he got he got Linux, bro. Person missing in Sloan Lake, Denver. Police report new body found. Today at 8 p.m. a missing person report was filed by Kevin Yang, who reported his friend Jack had been missing for the past four hours. Wait. I'm sorry. Four hours? You can, isn't it like impossible to report someone missing if they've only been gone for four hours? I, I don't know, have I got that wrong? I'm not a lawyer. According to Kevin, he and his friend Jack went fishing at the Sloan Lake, during which his friend went to the restroom but never came back. I, he ghosted you, bro. The police had searched in a one mile radius around the lake and predicted that Jack might have accidentally fell into the lake. There's a hell of a f That's a hell of a conclusion, mate. Later, the police department sent out a boat search on the lake where nobody was found. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. Kevin, who was very sad at his friend missing, begged the police to find his friend. The Sloan Lake area is currently under police lockdown. Not lockdown. Lockdown. No one is able to enter or exit. We will be doing some further search. Some further search. On the lake when the rain stops, said Stephen Chris from the Denver City Police Department. See, that's the problem there is you put the investigation in the hands of a man with two first names. The police team had to pause the search due to the heavy rain getting even heavier. Mmm. Mmm. The heavy rain getting even heavier? Sean! Jack's family had been notified about their son's. About their son's missing. They were notified about their son's missing what? Their son's missing what? The family will take the next avail available flight to Denver. However, their flight might not arrive tonight because of the heavy rain. Sean! Also, I just noticed this is Yang news. Right, so in my mind, in my mind, like the report, a mission report was filed by Kevin Yang. This is KevinYangGames.com. Yang News. This guy basically... This guy wrote a report in the third person. And put it on his own website and called it the news. I think it's Kevin you have to be worried about, like... I'm not worried about Jack. Jack, who has no surname. I'm worried about Kevin. Because this man, right, this man has some issues. Plan to get rid of Jack. You oh boy. You think you are smarter than me now? You have always been better than me, I know. You do well on tests without studying much. You got into Harvard hat. How could you how could you take Emily from me, full stop? Yeah, how could you take Emily from me, period? 
It's not a question. It's just a statement. You know that I like her, you bastard. She's my everything. But it's okay. You will never get a chance to be with her. She is mine. I know that we have known each other since kindergarten. But you know what? I never thought of you as a friend. I hated you. Because your life was just so perfect. Well, until now. Honestly, I'm not being nasty to Kevin, but like, there's a reason he didn't get into Harvard. 8 2 2018. The weather forecast predicted heavy rain. Sure. To make sure he does not bring water. When he is thirsty, hand him water with drugs. Ah, oh, my favorite water with drugs. Fuck yeah. Death is estimated within a minute. Bro, what did you put in his water? Then push him down the lake. Down the lake? Like, not into the lake, down the lake. Like, you're gonna get out of the boat and push the boat? Make sure clear fingerprint and evidence. Make sure to speak calmly and carefully. You don't need to remind yourself to be calm and careful more than once. Tell them that Jack and I went fishing by the lake and he went to use the restroom that I waited for. Oh, for I'm not reading this. Researches. Researches? Whoa. Oh no, that's a word. Lake death 20 meters. That is a lot of research. His body might be found. If found in police, come to question. Speak calmly, but also with fear in it. Do not make them think that you have done it. Wow, you such thorough research, honestly. Two pages of Google Documents. Actually, this is Microsoft Word, like. Two pages on Microsoft Word. Make sure to destroy all ev evidence, including this document, and reset the computer drive. Well, you didn't do that, did you? And the way he had, like, that... So that, like, stick figure drawing... That was, like, my drawing, I'm assuming. Can I leave the computer now? Okay. Oh, I can jump. This changes everything. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's no animation. Oh, boy. Yeah, Kevin is not only a murderer, but he's also a <laughs> cyborg, bro. It's not looking good, brev. So what am I meant to do, like... I already wrote an article on my own website saying he's missing. Can I open this door, please? I can't. Are you f***ing kidding me? But didn't I push him in the lake? Like, if I pushed him in the lake, then why is there blood everywhere? I pushed the guy in the lake, I didn't... I didn't kill him in here. Oh sh! What the? F oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That is quality. Oh my god! <laughs> the face of evil. Dios mío, el diablo. Hmm. Can I turn this off, please? It's driving me f***ing insane, like... At the end of the day, the real villain of the story is misophonia, also... <laughs> okay, I think it's just starting to make sense to me. It's- it's Jack that did this, isn't it? But where did all the blood come from? I'd really like to know where all the blood came from. Can I get in the... Get in the shower? No. Can I open these? Apparently not. Bro, this is so scary, bro. I'm gonna piss my pants, bro. I just like... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no. <laughs> Honestly, this is perfect. Are you kidding me? Is that it? Oh god, no. No, no, I'm seeing things. It's not real. <laughs> it's just your imagination's coming. It's not real. <laughs> Fucking text-to-speech voice. I didn't even, like, that, like, startled me, but only because of how stupid this game is. The like. bathroom light is broken. I think I need to call room service to come and have a look.
Bro, fuck this game. Okay, so... <laughs> That's Jack is missing. Um, this is the Steam community page. I played for 21 minutes. Funding this shit. You're not getting my 39p, I don't care. I don't care, I'm bitter. I'm bitter and I'm mean. I'm bitter and I'm mean and I'm nasty and I'm evil. I feel like I have to play this one because, like, it's called Mate. And honestly, that is what the local crack users call me. Right. Alright, mate, you got a spare cigarette you could give me, mate. Alright, give me a spare. No, not for you. Not for you, old raspy mcpipe user. It don't do you no good, raspy. It's bad. It's bad for your lungs. It's bad for your lungs, raspy. Okay, this is um. Okay, this is something. What? Are there any games that work? Are there any games that work? Introvert, a teenager simulator. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's Reddit. Freaky clown. Clown mystery. I do like a freaky clown. I mean, I'm a freaky clown. Hey, kid. Want to see a trick? Hmm. Here you go. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, that's normal. This is some great <coughs> ear blasting noise. Okay, I'm gonna turn this shit down because holy shit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try hard for freaky clown. I'm just gonna play normal. <coughs> Putting an effort for freaky clown. Oh, Martin's here. Wait, where's he going? I'm driving a car. Wait, so this guy's my friend, right? Apparently, but he's a child. Hey, kid. Want to see a trick? Want to hmm. see a trick? Here you go. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, Let's yeah. Float in there. So you're telling me, okay, that's my friend, right? But he's a child. But I'm I'm old enough to drive a car. If anything, I'm the wrong one in this situation. Hot dog, chili dog, hot sir, beef patty, hot K, hot K. Man, that's like ketamine on the street now. That ain't good for the neighborhood. I won't lie. Hey, mate, what's up? Right, buddy. Soon. Oh no. What? I'm what? sorry. Wake up. Step out of it. What? That's the stupidest thing you could have done. So wait, so I am a child. What was I doing driving a car? Why was I driving a car? Whoever let their child drive a car, it's their fault and got kidnapped, not Gumbo's. Let me fix this once and for all. Meow, meow, meow. What's that squelching sound, mate? Why is he squelching when he walks for? bro has got wet pants. Right, kitty? I can't even pet the cat. Bro, this game's straight up doo doo water, mate. This is straight up doo doo water. <laughs> no, I like it though. It's, 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 it's shit. It's like it's doo doo water, yeah, but it's like it's freaky clown town mystery, mate. 
chair simulator. I'm in nudity, gore. Nah, it's a Christian channel, isn't it? Six people. <laughs> Is it like nine hours, nine people, nine doors, but worse? Probably. Clown house. Mm. I am on a bit of a clown thing right now. I don't know, I don't like that clown as much as I like gumbo. Interactive horror stories. Okay. Okay, now now we're cooking with gas. Oh f <coughs> fast, fastest, simple, good, beautiful, fantastic. Those are all words to describe interactive horror stories. It's got two languages, got English and Turkish, baby. That's how you know it's good. So we've got the doll. After funeral, crystal skull, evil beneath the ground. Crystal skull two. Madness in infinite loop. Ouija, 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 and credits. Evil beneath the ground. Yeah. You are a goth university student with no friends. All right. What I do not need is to be insulted about the lifestyle I was living roughly 12 months ago. If you decide to wander in the forest tonight, you will find bare footprints. Those, those are coming from a black hole with a ladder. Now, I don't know if you know much about physics. So you can't put a ladder in a black hole, can you, dumbass? You were a young university student who identifies as a goth. You are a lonely person. People think that you want to be alone, but in fact, you couldn't find someone. You felt affinity. Everyone is so distant from you. Nobody you knows listens to the music that you love, like Bauhaus. You heard about a university field trip to a lake and the forest around it in autumn. There would be a picnic. Also, alcohol is permitted. You could bring your own drinks. But this is... The lack of audio is upsetting. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna edit some music over this, don't worry. You join the field trip. Not only maybe you could make some new friends, but you also love the nature. Especially when it's a cold season. You have mixed feelings about this picnic by the lake. You can't feel yourself as a part of the joyful youth who are enjoying the nature trip. After having a picnic barbecue, they played a game with a ball in which they formed a circle and tried not to let the ball touch the ground. They played keepy uppy. Like, whatever. Everyone participated in the game except for you. Loser. You brought a bottle of red wine and a wine glass. Wait. So what you're saying is you brought a wine glass with you on a school trip and you're wondering why you don't have friends, like... You brought a wine glass camping, mate. I don't know what to tell you. You drank your wine alone away from them. But it's just being an alcoholic. There are about five hours for the picnic to end. What? You will be going back to the city with buses. So they went on a school trip just to go on a picnic. You stand up and wander away from the picnic. You feel the call of the dark forest. So you walk along the path into the forest, okay? You turn on the flashlight of your phone. There is an app for it too. For it not to be annoying, but the flashlight on your phone is not an app. It's literally just like a setting. The forest is your friend, only friend. It's fucking arranged, mate. You follow the footprints, they keep changing the directions. You find yourself at an elevation and the prints stop here. He might have gone anywhere as he didn't follow a single direction. Okay. You decide to go to the place where he comes from. You find yourself the hole. There is a lid and a long rope near it. The man clearly comes from the hole. His footprints prove it. Well done. Genius. You can see the end of the hole from your position. As a curious and drunk boy, you feel a strange urge to descend. A terrible odour, a mixture of feces and something you can't understand. Ooh, ooh, it's stinky. You are shocked to find a chained woman in this room. What? The chain is tied to her ankle. She looks in her forties, too weak. Her bones are noticeable. She has pale skin with lots of scars. She's on her knees. She's naked. Her body is lightly hairy. Except for her pubic area, it is quite hairy. 
Did you really need to tell me that? Something you don't understand happens. You hit something that wasn't visible in front of you. You saw nothing in front of you, you hit something. You fall onto the floor and an invisible force carries you and repeatedly smashes your head to the wall. Oh great. Your feet touch- your foot touches a metal bucket. Great. Brilliant. You wait for an immeasurable amount of time for something to happen. You are thirsty and hungry. Sometimes you hear your phone ring. It is in a different room. The melody is It's the Fear by Within Temptation, an ironic name for your situation. Haha. <sighs> he grabs your body and you feel two sharp fangs on your neck. Okay, he's a vampire. Cool. You've no idea how long you have been prison here. Occasionally comes back to feed you and himself. Okay. He tortures the woman. She screams and begs for him to stop, but he doesn't. Do you hear a whip hit the naked flesh of the woman? He doesn't harm you, only the woman. He's evidently a misogynist, I guess. We have some common points. We both like the dark. We are both outcasts. Lonely words. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. I can make you an immortal like me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be a vampire. I'm gonna be a vampire. You open your eyes. You find yourself lying in a wooden coffin, but this time you are able to see. There isn't any single light source in the concrete room, but you see your environment as if you are wearing night vision goggles. You have lost your hair, it has shed. Your old hair is on the coffin's part where you put your head on and you feel your face change too. Unbearable thirst but not for water, yeah. Welcome to a new start, my child, you hear his voice. Okay, cool. They think that our kind can't be seen on the mirror, take a look at yourself. You are in terror with what you see in the mirror. You don't carry a human face anymore. Your skin has scales like a snake. Its color is light gray, almost white. Your eyes are long. Ears are long and have pointy tips. Your eyes are all red. I don't know, that sounds fine. You have sharp teeth. Yeah, cool. You scream, break down, and cry in despair. Then you feel his hand claw on your shoulder. He stands on your back. What? Now you're able to see his hand. It is scaled like your skin. He stands on my back. <laughs> Bro. Bit hard to look up when he's standing on my back, though. His body is tall, naked, and has a humpback. His skin is almost white and scaled, but his face is the ugliest thing you've ever seen. It is the embodiment of evil, torture, murder. I, uh, this is like. Man, this sucks. And envy, envy for everything that is pretty and fair. I will teach you everything I know. Okay. I got an achievement. Well, that was great. That was brilliant. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I see. Gaming.